to the wonderful world of Miss Kelly Rowland. And I'm your host. Aw, oh, man. Hold on. <laughs> Stop that one again. I'm gonna be the commander. When are we gonna hear it? Um, I'm actually getting it mixed right now. Nelly heard it and I think he's trying to get on it. Everybody was like, are you gonna do a full dance album? Are you gonna do an urban album? What kind of album are you gonna do? I'm doing both because I don't allow nobody to put me in a box. Nobody puts baby in a corner. <laughs> I agree. Um, how many songs are now? 11 to 12. My fans were like, there should be like 15. <laughs> I'm like, you guys, this budget is crazy. <laughs> Not cheap to make a record, especially when you got the heavy hitters. Danger, Dr. Luke, but Esther Dean. And the songs that Neo wrote for me, three records that made me gag. Chris Brown and I did a record together. I, I don't judge anybody. As many fingers as we point uh, as we point towards someone, there are four more pointing at us. I judge Chris on his talent. I think people forget that, you know, they weren't there. And who the hell are they to judge anybody? That was something that happened between, you know, them and the people that they're around. It has nothing to do with us. What do you say to, to, to those people, those fans, that are fans of Kelly Rowland, the R&B singer, um, who aren't necessarily into dance music? What do you, and, and they're kind of looking to you like, we kind of want something R&B from you. Don't judge me yet. Listen to the record. Um, for so long, like, you know, being in a group and thinking as a team was so much a part of, like, my blood, my makeup, my body type, that I had to almost reprogram myself for just me. I, Kelly. you know, Kelly. Um, wow! Yeah. <laughs> you might have just gave me the album title. Did you hear that? That's not bad, D. Can you write that down? You guys might have just inspired the album title. No, really. I'm not mad at that. Like something along those lines. I'm sorry, I'm just having a rough like thought in front of you guys right now. But I just thought about it. That would be really cool. So let's let's brainstorm on that later, D. Um, this is not anybody else's career, this is mine. And I can't depend on anybody else to do anything. I'm a lot more vocal now than I've ever been. Oh, I'm closer to 30 than I am to 20. <laughs> I gotta make some moves. <laughs> okay, I gotta find my voice. I, I blame a little bit of myself of not having the faith to do that. And I finally have the faith to do that. So at least I found the faith. There is space for everybody. B has her lane. Gaga has her lane. Rihanna has her lane. Sierra has her lane. I got my lane. You know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with everybody having a lane. Don't compare. What I learned about the industry is you can be up today, gone tomorrow. If you don't have any self-worth, if you don't know who you are outside of this world, this like world of an industry, I mean, that we live in, it's dangerous. You know what I mean? It's really you see, dangerous. You see a lot of artists kind of falling on that, that kind of spiral staircase. So is that something you kind of are conscious of having? Yeah, I, I believe in normalcy. Don't get me wrong, I love this life. Yeah. I love being able to travel, being able to talk to you, being able to meet fans, being able to perform on stage, make beautiful music, like that's a dream. But at the same time, I like being at home. I like being by myself. I like having my friends over. I like to cook. I like to, you know, enjoy just simple things. Um, we had a great team behind us, from the label to management. Um, to um, ideas, you know. We, we weren't afraid to try everything. Sound, looks, everything. Like, and, and it all seemed to work. And we had a voice. We weren't afraid to say who exactly we were and, you know, talk about, you know, women and, and empowerment and, you know what I mean? Like, we were sassy. <laughs> we, yeah. we you know what I mean? School. Yeah. Album, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you know, but you know, for a while you guys needed that. We had to do a little tap tap for a second. My favorite song on that album will probably have to be Confessions. Confessions and Say My Name. She Can't Love You is mine. Oh, I know, I love that record. She can't love you like I can. All of her love just can't compare to what I have. She can't hold you like I do. 
Cause when you're touching you, pretend it's me and you And there's no way her love's as good as mine <laughs> 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 Oh my god Old school, I'm telling you, I'm like from, from day Why didn't they retouch under my armpit? Made me look all hairy <laughs> This actually makes me kind of teary-eyed. So much has changed. I used to think this was like the flyest picture that I had. <laughs> like the, one of the first photo shoots we had. It's so cool. Coolest place you've visited so far, Spain. Who you'd love to meet one day. And I've yet to meet her, Aretha Franklin. Um, favorite ice cream now is no longer chocolate. It's Bailey's. Mm. My comfort food when I'm feeling blue is <laughs> this is how healthy I was in this in the day caramel rice cakes. Now it's Fanta orange soda with vanilla ice cream. Have you had that? No. Okay, it's so good. Oh, don't judge me. <laughs> it's so good. He said this was one of the best interviews I've ever had, and I really mean that. Thank you for your love and support over the years. Kelly. Thank you. The vibe of it is just the, so nice. I love it. Now I'm thinking about it, so I'm going to have to go and listen to it.